So we're going to be exiting the dual carriageway via a slip road or deceleration lane. Now, um, they give you plenty of warnings to actually exit a dual carriageway. You're going to get um, a warning sign possibly half a mile or a third of a mile ahead of you saying there's an exit coming up. When you pass that sign, you're going to have to prepare yourself to go into the left lane. So when you're approaching the deceleration lane, you should be in the left lane at that point. What you shouldn't be doing is in the right lane and then changing the lanes at the last few seconds. You're also going to get countdown markers, three, two, one, exit. So it's preparing you. So what you want to be saying is, uh, once you pass the three, the three stripes, you, you'll be checking your center mirror, your left mirror, and you'll be signaling. you definitely be doing it by then. By then, you should be thinking about coming off because if you're doing 70 mile an hour, these are going to come along pretty quickly within, a, within 10, 15 seconds of each other. So as you pass that one there, check your mirrors, signaling, and um, when you enter the, the left side, because that's what you want to be doing, entering the left side if you can, and at that point you're checking your rear view mirror and starting to slow down, cancelling your signal, because at that point you don't know uh, whether you're going to be going left at the end of the deceleration lane or right. Now on this picture here, you've got um, the left lane exiting, you've got a hatched area, and then you've also got a right lane exiting. So it's dividing the traffic up. Sometimes you haven't got that, it's just gonna be one exit off, but it's gonna be wide enough for two lanes. What you don't want to be doing is, once you pass that um, exit sign a third of a mile away, don't start thinking, I'll overtake these two cars ahead of me and then cut in, because you, you, you see cars doing it, they'll, they'll get towards the point where they're passing that one stripe and they're rushing to get past you, to get back in, to get off, and it's dangerous. You could cause a skid, you could cause an accident. So. Prepare yourself. When you see that countdown sign saying a third of a mile away, start thinking about, got to get in that left lane. There's no point overtaking. It's not, it's not going to make a difference. And then start, when you start passing that, we're going to be checking our mirrors, signaling to come off. It's as easy as that. Nothing trickier. And then when you go up to the deceleration lane, bring in your speed down. Check your speed. Because if you've been driving on this high-speed carriageway for... 10, 20 minutes, half an hour, you might not realize how fast you're actually going. So check your speedometer when you're on the deceleration lane because you might think you're doing about 20, 30 miles an hour and you could still be doing 55, 60 miles an hour for all you know. So check it, start slowing down in preparation for the end of the deceleration lane because it could be around about the end, it could be a junction to go left or right. Look at the road, look out for traffic, queuing up. Start preparing, slow down more. When you're on the, on the deceleration lane, it's just straightforward preparing to come off at the end. Let's get some driving done and let's get practicing exiting. So we're going to be working on exiting a dual carriageway. So I'm on the dual carriageway at the moment, national speed limit, I'm in fifth gear doing 62 miles an hour. I'm in the left lane and I'm looking for the exit sign telling me there's an exit coming up. If I was in the right lane and I see the exit sign, I want to be looking at coming back in. So ahead of us, at the moment, a nice safe gap from the car in front of me. If you're new to the channel, by the way, click on that subscribe on the bottom right hand corner. And I'm looking ahead of me there. At the moment, there's a lay-by on the left. I'm looking to get off at the next exit. I can just see a green sign coming in the distance. That'll be my exit sign. So I'll just see what it says. I'll see the distance. The parking spot as well near it. Yeah, there it is. That car came in then. So there's the exit sign. So it's basically saying it's an exit coming up and it's in half a mile. You just about to see all the graffiti over it. So half a mile is an exit. So I've got a nice steady gap. I'm doing 60 miles an hour and I'm looking for the countdown markers. Remember, as he pulls in then, I'm off the gas a little bit, let a gap develop. He's getting in, he might want to come off. He might be just coming in to get that car past him. So I'm letting a two second gap develop. There's my three stripes, checking my mirrors, signaling that gaps developing between me and that truck. I'm not gonna stay right behind him. And as I come to the deceleration lane, I'm checking what's going on, checking my speed, canceling the signal, and braking to slow down. It's important. It's as easy as that. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna be trying it again. carriageway and I'm doing 60 miles an hour in the left lane just cruising along 
I'm looking for the exit to get off. So I'm gonna exit by a, a slip road. There's my sign saying it's in half a mile. So if you're in the right lane of taking, you gotta start planning to get back in at this point. And what I'm looking for is the countdown markers because that's my prompt to check my mirrors and to signal left tell everyone coming off. I'm keeping a nice safe gap of two seconds from the car in front of me. I'm cruising at 60 miles an hour still. There's my countdown markers, the three stripes. So I'm gonna start checking. I'm gonna start signaling left. There's my two stripes. There's the exit sign. There's my one stripe and there's the deceleration lane. So I'm checking my mirrors and I'm starting to cover the brake at this point as I enter it, cancelling the signal, slowing down gradually. And then I'm gonna go left at a roundabout. So I'm just gonna be checking my mirrors and signaling left. And slowing down. So it's pretty quick to get your speed down on them. So if you like the, um, the videos and you want me to do more on dual carriageway work, then feel free to leave a comment. Um, feel free to leave a comment on the video that I might not have covered. But if you're not too sure, check out the playlists and they'll certainly help you put in the right direction. Safe driving and good luck with your lessons.